Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're Row 82 here, your railroad archaeologist, who today is going to take you on a trip back in time. Um, this picture I'm going to show you is from 1939. Uh, it is the Miami extension of the Overseas Railroad. So, Henry Flagler, which was the founder of Florida East Coast Railway, uh, built the railroad along the east coast of Florida and completed it to Miami in 1896. As a consequence, Miami and all the cities on the east coast of Florida owe a debt of gratitude to Henry Flagler and the Florida East Coast Railway because had it not been for the railroad and the economic progress it brought along with it, Miami and those cities wouldn't be a shadow of what they are today. So, that being said, um, after the railroad was completed in 1896, he then wanted to proceed to Key West. So that took him, uh, he began in 1900 and finished it in 1912. So it took him 12 years to complete that. Uh, as I said, this, what I'm going to show you is the Miami extension. So this is uh, the part that ran along US-1. And in 1939, we're going to see, I want you to focus on the steam locomotive I want you to focus on the cross buck where the rails are and the buildings in the background. I'm going to show you what they look like nowadays after I show you the picture for a, for a good while like that. You can you can take it in and, and absorb it. So that being said, guys, uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you can see uh, videos like this and alerts when I when I post them. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Leave me some comments and tell me what you think. So welcome from uh, 1939 over to 2019, 80 years later. This is what it looks like nowadays. So this here is a walkway from the East Tower of the South Miami Hospital building onto the main building over here. And uh, this here is South, sorry, Southwest 62nd Avenue facing North and Southwest 62nd Avenue facing South. So this is where the picture was taken 1939 this is the receiving dock of uh, South Miami Hospital and then somewhere where that street light is is where the cross buck stood uh, that above ground is the metro rail that's what replaced the FEC tracks which ran in this location up until 1984 so Around this general area is where the cross buck once stood, the almighty cross buck, which alerted cars and drivers as to uh, tracks and trains. So right here is where, in this very spot, where that steam engine was, facing that way. That would be facing southeast towards uh, the Florida Keys, which are about uh, the first key, Key Largo, is probably like 40-ish miles away from here. These tracks run all the way to Key West. Uh, the Overseas Railroad, previous to 1935. So yeah, so right here is where the steam engine stood. And this is where the double track main was. Double track main, and then this is where the double track main facing northwest. That there is US-1, and then right where that bb &T is, is where that seed company was. Then you can see US-1 has way more traffic than it did when it was photographed. In fact, this is probably one of the busiest arteries in, in Miami. 
but big difference. And then where the McDonald's is, is where those apartments uh, st stood. Then yeah, uh, here you try to find remnants of of a railroad, and you would come up very short. In fact, I don't think you'd find anything. Not a spike, a tie plate, tie, nothing. They wiped it all out here. As a, yeah, I mean, some grade crossings, or former grade crossings, uh, underneath the metro rail, you can still see that they have kind of a hill, like that, but not, not many do. So yeah, so right here is where the locomotive stood, and roughly somewhere around here was where the cross buck stood. But big big difference 80 years makes, right? Tell me what you guys think below in, your, in the comment section. I personally like it, how, personally liked it better in 1939. I wish I would have lived that. <laughs> Alrighty guys, please subscribe. Uh, check out one of these videos. Think you'll like it. Take care, and bye-bye.